Oliver, NYSE Neuronex is uh, pondering a small cap exchange. I think it's called the Entrepreneurial Exchange for um, small mid cap stocks. You don't think it's a very good idea? Why is that? Well, we've uh, we've been here before. There's lots of other uh, exchanges that have been tried to encourage small companies to to list, and they've all. Uh, uh, and most of them have failed, there's not many around anymore. What, this is born out of a, a very noble aim, NYC Euronext and the committee that's advising it wants to set up what they're calling an entrepreneurial exchange to help small and medium-sized companies raise finance. As we know, it's difficult for them to get bank funding, the IPO market's difficult for them, and this, the idea is that this would help them raise more money. But in the past, other efforts to help small businesses raise money have all struggled. And on, on AIM, for example, companies are delisting. Yeah, AIM is well below its peak. At its peak five years ago, there were about 1,600 companies on AIM in, in the UK, and now there's only about 1,100. And the, the real reason for that is a lack of risk appetite amongst investors. Um, AIM in particular has performed badly over the long term. A lot of investors have been bur burnt and pulled their money out. And it's a similar story across other classes of small company shares. They perform badly, people have been burned, and there's a real lack of risk appetite in the market. That's across all kinds of shares. Small company shares are particularly risky ones, so they're facing particular problems attracting new investors. And we know that small cap stocks tend to outperform in the good times and underperform in the bad times. I mean, why isn't it kind of good for NYSE to look in the long run and say, you know, we're not going to take a call on the market, but this may be something that uh, clients want? If they're confident that clients will want it at some point in the future, then it, it's a good time to, to make that move. But there's there's no certainty that investor appetite will return for, for small cap stocks and some rules such as solvency two covering insurance companies might make it even harder for big institutions to put money into small caps. So you're left really relying on individual investors, private investors putting their own money in. And as, as figures from life insurance companies recently have shown us, that private investors just aren't interested at the moment. It's, it's money under the mattress time, not money into risky small company shares. Yeah, we know investors haven't had a good time out in small caps. But what about the companies themselves? I mean, is there an appetite? I mean, are they banging on the door of these exchanges saying, please, can we have our own market? I think there's a lot of companies who want to raise money, and what's particularly concerning in Europe is that a lot of them are going either to Asia or to the States. If you're a small, promising tech company in Europe, you might go to the US, where firstly they've just introduced the new Jobs Act, which is designed to help smaller companies raise financing. That's got a lot of people in Europe worried. But also there's more knowledge of these kinds of companies, biotech companies, technology companies. There's a real critical mass of investors and analysts in the US who understand these kinds of companies, and that's missing in Europe. Right. Well, we expect this uh, report to be up by the end of the year, and um, we'll look with interest to see what they do. Thanks very much, Oliver.